Officially presented by Iwa Outdoor Classics and our partners, Beretta, Steiner, VFG Weapon Care, and the lead-free hunting bullets by RWS. Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Christian Bender. I am reporting for Low Ready Magazine, the community magazine for modern gun culture made in Europe. I am reporting directly from IWA 2024 and I'm here at the booth of RWS. I'm here with Marco. Hi Marco, Hi. good to see you. Thanks for having Welcome me. Welcome to our booth. Yeah, nice thanks for you. having me. And we are talking today about your line of especially lead-free bullets. Correct. Shoot. All over Europe there is currently a discussion about lead-free. So there are more and more restrictions, especially in Germany and the lead-free part is more and more increasing but for all hunters we got the best alternatives if you need to switch from lead to lead-free so there are very good alternatives you need to take care of some things like maximum reach especially when you're using uh, copper bullets but um, also when you're using other bullets um, we got very good alternatives so you are referring to the maximum reach this is this is because the material is harder than lead and Correct. it needs and it needs more velocity to, to, to react, to expand upon Correct. the hit on target, right? Correct. So here in the middle you can see our most popular lead-free bullet, which is the RWS hit bullet. It's a monolithic bullet made out of copper. Um, the big benefit is the high residual weight. Um, here you can see the residual body of a 308 shot on 100 meters. And here we have nearly 100% of residual weight. This characteristic is not even not able to reach with a bonded cartridge, a bonded bullet, for example. Um, and this advantage is a disadvantage at the same time because due to the hardness and the stiffness, yeah. as you said, you need a higher velocity in the target um, to have enough expansion to transfer enough energy. Yeah, yeah, I, I, can, I can relate to that because bonded, bonded bullets they always splinter at least a little bit so, yeah, you, so you never have 100 percent retention of the correct. weight of the initial bullet but with uh, with copper bullets or yeah. um well alternative materials you can you can achieve that result yeah. right correct. so what do we see here this one looks well the color at least is the same as with the hit yeah. so what can you can you tell me about this one it's a really yeah specialized bullet it's our newest product line the rws driven hunt um, okay. In this case, due to the high uh, weight retention of the hit, um, you need some time, or the, the bullet needs some time to expand in the body. Um, and now our intention was to have a bullet that uh, transfers a high shocking power and on the same time a secure exit wound. And with this flat nose tip, we ensure a really fast deformation of the bullet and with that a really high shocking power. At the same time, we, we use the big benefit of copper uh, with the mass stability, you will always have a secure exit wound, which is also very important on driven hunts when the game is under adrenaline and you're shooting on very short distances. Yeah. When you gotcha. often have problems, for example, with uh, soft point bullets, with a possible hole fragmentation of the bullet, and you don't have an exit wound, and here we have the positive characteristics of, um, of copper with the high mass stability just to secure a safe exit wound. Um, what is the difference between them? Um, we have here a, a less aerodynamic concept yeah. and the strength of, strength of this bullet is on, yeah, I think between uh, up to 50, 60 meters. You will have more magnification and a faster magnification compared to the hit bullet. And from then on, the hit is again the, the more powerful and the more useful bullet. Yeah. We have a third bullet design. What can you tell us about this third bullet design? Correct. We spoke about the maximum reach of copper bullets. Yep. And here, on the other hand, we got a very unique bullet. Um, it's a jacketed lead-free uh, bullet. Oh, really? Um, compared to the monolithic bullet, you have a jacketed construction, as you know from the, from the lead bullets. And as we use it in many other bullets um, in our portfolio, we have a building with two tin cores. Um, the rear core is a bit harder yeah. to secure a, secu a safe exit wound. And here we got the age constriction, which is also known from our Harmantel bullet and the speed to professional. And it makes it possible that the, the core sticks together 
with the jacket. Okay. So you will have no separation. And in the front part, you have a, a softer material with, with pre-fragmentation. And here you have a really high shocking power, even when it comes to lighter games. So you have a direct fragmentation of the bullet yeah. and with that a high, a high shocking power. Um, the big benefit is that this bullet also works in lower velocity areas up to 550 meters per second. Okay, so, so if in my case I have longer hunting distances that I need to shoot, then you have also a solution for me if those bullets would be too slow to Correct. expand upon impact. Correct. So this is the solution that I would then turn to, right? Correct. Another positive aspect is, as I said, the jacketed construction. We got a milled steel jacket with nickel plating, so we will have nearly no barrel fouling compared to the um, monolithic copper bullets. So um, to sum this up, we got from ultra short to short distances, a perfect setup with the RWS Driven Hunt, with the RWS Hit, a perfect setup for all-rounders from Driven Hunts to standard hunt hunting distances. And then when it, when it comes to longer distances, we got the Evolution Green, which is a perfect bullet also for the Alps. Wow. Thank you, Marco, for taking the time to, to explain these really, really interesting bullet architectures to our audience, to our community. If you want to have more information about these bullets and, of course, about other products, please visit us at lowreadymagazine.com and follow the links under this video. Lowreadymagazine.com is a community magazine made for you by you. And if you want to become part of the community, come to the website lowreadymagazine.com Look at the article that Mo, the founder, wrote for you, and then we're happy to welcome you to our community. I see you there.